Friends, I'm coming to you tonight to talk uh, about a guy who is um, basically a problem in Christianity. Uh, his name is Steven Anderson. One of these false teachers I just heard this week, Bill Grady. Bill Grady is going to split hell wide open. I don't care if he wrote a book about the King James. Let him be accursed. Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. There's a guy by the name of Andrew Sluter, and he's one of these hyper-dispensational, Ruckmanite, three gospel false teachers. That Clarence Larkin's in hell. That's all that tells me. That he was a false prophet, that he believed lies. Andrew Sluter is not saved, he's a damnable heretic. Stay away from this damnable heretic. And I destroyed this foolish, hyper-dispensational salvation doctrine up one side and down the other. And so I, I strongly recommend you listen to that sermon, Old Testament Salvation, that I did. But he clearly didn't understand it. But that's because the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. They are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. So an unsaved man cannot understand Scripture. So, you know, my sermon, Old Testament Salvation, went right over this guy's head. Where Bill Grady made me look like an idiot was when he was saying, I called him trying to convert him. Okay, I know better than to try to convert a reprobate. I know better than that. Uh, there have been some folks, in fact, through my meetings, who have uh, gotten out of his cult, and it is a cult. It's basically a cult, C-U-L-T, cult. And the main ringleader of this mess is out in Tempe, Arizona. And you got to understand, I'm not trying to win Ruckmanites. I believe most of them, if not all of them, are reprobate concerning the faith. Now, folks, this just adds to the list of things where if you don't agree with Stephen Anderson on, then you are lost. You have Sam Gipp preach for you, you are lost. Do you believe in dispensationalism? You are lost. On and on the list goes to where you are simply lost if you don't agree with him. But folks, we just need to understand that this is a cult. Steven Anderson is a cult leader. And it's getting more and more to the point where if you don't agree with everything he says, then you are indeed lost. That is by definition a cult. Folks, consider yourself warned. If you're in that movement, you need to get out. It is dangerous. And it's, trust me, as soon as you disagree with something he says, you are going to be the next one put in hell. Yes, Stephen Anderson has his own book of life. But I thought this was super important, and I thought this really needed to be addressed. This is a cult leader. He is getting to the point where if you don't agree with him, then you're just not saved. Doesn't matter what it is. If you don't agree with him, you're not saved. Uh, it's dangerous, and this guy is a nutcase. So you consider yourself warned.
Are we adding works to salvation? Are we adding more beliefs to the gospel than just the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ? The answer is Stephen Anderson. Yes, Stephen Anderson is. And I think that is heresy, and I think that's the false gospel, and I think that is dangerous. Folks, consider yourself warned. This is no longer just a nutcase in Arizona, but this is a false teacher and a false prophet preaching and teaching heresy. Hope you have a good rest tonight. May God bless you is my prayer.